Hello everybody, welcome back. As you can see, I have a slightly different setup from before. Now, you can actually see my face as well as the computer. And I was hoping that this would add a more personal aspect to my videos. So now you can actually see my face, you can see how I'm saying the words, you can see my emotions. So hopefully, it makes the videos a little bit less boring, if I can call it that. Um, but anyway, let's begin with the tutorial. Now, you want to move your iPad pictures onto your memory stick. So the first thing, first, first, first thing you need to do is take your charging cable and plug it into your computer and plug in your iPad on the other end. So, you know that cable that you use to charge your iPad? Plug one end into the computer and plug the other end into the iPad. That's it. Then, take your memory stick and plug that into the computer as well. So you should have two things plugged into your computer, your iPad as well as your memory stick. Okay, so you've done that step. Now, let's continue. The first thing you want to do is open up my computer. Now, on Windows 7, the logo actually looks like this, right? So I'm going to left click on that. Then I'm going to move over to the section on the left. In fact, let me just make this full screen, right? I'm going to move over to the section on the left, and you can see there's something that says Kamil Nika's iPad. Now, that will be the name of your iPad. So if your name is Sarah, your name will be Sarah's iPad. Got it? So now I'm going to left click on that, and you will see it says internal storage. Now, Apple lets you view your photos on the iPad when you plug it in to the computer. So this is internal storage. You want to double click on that, double click on DCIM, and now, you will see a folder that has all your photos inside it. In fact, you might even have more than one folder. Okay, so double click on that, and now you'll see all your pictures lining up. So, of course, you want to move this onto the memory stick to save space. So, you'll probably move all the pictures from your iPad. Now, in order to move all the pictures, you simply want to left click and drag all the way down until all the photos have been selected. But for me, I want to make this video as quick as possible, so I'm only going to move across these three pictures here with the blue thumbnail. So I'm going to select them, right? These photos have been selected. Now that you're done with that, we can just push that off to the side, okay? Then you want to right click over here and go once again to my computer. But this time, instead of going to Carmel Nike's iPad, you want to go over to Removable Disk, which is the F drive. And that is my memory stick or hard drive okay so now you can see this is everything that is on my memory stick or hard drive now that you are here I want you to go over to the DCIM folder where all your pictures are and you and take all the pictures that you selected and simply this is it drag it across into your memory stick that's it and can you see that tiny three over there that three means that there are three photos inside just a fun fact so you want to take your photos and drag them in. Now I don't want to put them in any specific folder, so I'm simply going to drag it into the removable disk. So now, let's make this full screen, and if we look all the way at the bottom, you can see image 2984, 2985, and 2986. And if we double click on that, the photo's there. That's it. Photo 1, photo 2, and photo 3. That's it. That's all there is to it, guys. So, um... Of course, when you're doing this, you also want to delete the photos afterwards so you create the space on your iPad. But instead of going on your iPad and manually deleting each photo one by one, this is what you do. On your computer, simply take all the photos that you want to delete. So in this case, I want to delete these three. Select them, right click on them, and press delete. That's it. Now, I'm not going to delete them because I still need the pictures, but that's what you do. And if you delete them from here, when you go on the photos on your iPad, the pictures will be wiped out, just like that. So it's very sweet, very simple, very short. Um, the amount of photos you have will determine how long the, the pictures will take to copy across. But um, anyway, I hope this was helpful, everybody. Thank you for watching, and if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Goodbye.